the end of Parshat Chayesar, we read of Avram's death, 175 years. He dies. The Torah says, "Vayigvav Yamas Avram b'seva Teva Zokin v'Savea." He's satisfied. He's old and he's satisfied. The Ramban points out this word "satisfied." We find by other tzaddikim as well. By Yitzchak, by Yitzchak, you know, it says "svayomim." Later on in the Torah, when Yitzchak dies, it also says he died. He was "svayom." He's satisfied. David Melch also, the pasuk in Divrei Yom says that when David Melch died, "svayom and vayishru He was he was rich. He had covet, but he was "svayom." He was satisfied. It says the Ramban, the famous pasuk in Kehelas Shlomo Melch says, "I have kesef leis bakesef." Somebody who likes money, he'll never be satisfied with money. Like the Chazal say, if he has one dollar, he'll want two. He has two, he'll want four. He'll always want more than what he has. So he'll never be satisfied. The last day of his life, when he's thinking about, huh, if I would have done that deal, I would have made another five thousand oh, dollars. I, I should have done that. I should have. I should have made more. The only people who are satisfied, says the Ramban, are the people that don't care about what they have. They don't care about their material lives because their lives are only important in as much and everything that they have materially. Avram was rich. Yitzchak was also rich. David was the, was the king of Israel. Of course he was rich. He was very wealthy. He died, it says, Aishur HaGavet. But more than that, the fact that he was rich is not the more, most important thing. The most important thing was that he was satisfied. Because a person who lives his life with only his spiritual pursuits in mind and the only thing, the only importance of having material with material things in this world is only in as much as it helps me serve HaKadosh Baruch Hu. The more I'm able to do with what I have is to serve HaKadosh Baruch Hu. So at the end of my life, I don't really care how much I'm left with. I'm Sava Yamim. I'm, I'm satisfied. My entire life was satisfying in, in a material sense. I'm satisfied. I don't get, of course a person has to work and a person has to feed his family. And Avram and Yitzchak did not shy away from making money. They made a lot of money. They were rich. They were very wealthy. Avram was wealthy. Yitzchak was wealthy. Yaakov was very wealthy. All of our others were wealthy. David was very wealthy. Moshe Rabbein was wealthy. They were wealthy, but that's not the important thing. When the Torah describes their deaths, when Tana and in the, in the Ksuvim and Divayom, and they describe David and Mel's death, they decided they were satisfied. Why were they satisfied? Because they had no expectations. They had no material expectations. Whatever they had, if Akash Baruch gives me this, so this is what I'll use to serve him. He gives me more. I'll use that to serve him. Whatever I have, I'll use to serve a Kodesh Baruch I have no expectations. I have no needs, material needs. The only thing I have is what I need in order to serve a Kodesh Baruch And at the end of my life, says Avram Avinu, I'm saved. I'm satisfied. This is the way of the tzaddikim. This is the lesson of Avram Avinu, of Yitzchak, of Dovar Melch, of those that say that at the end of their lives, they were able to say, I am satisfied. Not like other people, regular people, who do have material pursuits. They're lo yispakesif. Even the last day of their lives, they'll never be satisfied as long as they, they'll never be able to achieve their success because they always want more and more. Good Shabbos.